So I've been wondering how would El Cid perform now that we have Edward of Woodstock. So in this video, Rockers, we are going to be testing out El Cid paired with Edward of Woodstock. We will have a primary Edward of Woodstock, secondary El Cid. Now, if you like battle testing videos where we try various different combinations in Rise of Kingdoms, consider subscribing and turning that notification on and enjoy the show. So this time we're going to be trying out a um, Edward and um, El Cid. Now we've seen a lot of Edward in YSG. Uh, the old battle report that we had here with Texan. And I think he've actually changed some talent setup here. So, but we're just going to check it out. Um, he wants to defend and, you know, we're, you know, just, you know, going to attack that. Um, so I'm very curious how that's going to go and how much damage we're going to be um, inflicting. Um, I can't find it right now. Okay, so this one. So pay attention in this um, battle report right now. It's going to be Martel and Richard. So about 77 and then 176. March is about one minute. All right, so this is going to be very interesting. And um, this testing is just mocking what we're going to be once we get into KVK. So everything's on it on the table alliance equipments and everything so the march is going on right now so i'm very curious how this thing is going to turn out um yeah we're gonna try to compare it here if it's going to do a lot better all right so edward and el cid is that a good is that a good combo i don't know we'll see if this thing loses i am done i am done <laughs> i think it should be a good win though so we'll see. Of course, this is going to be very different compared to the YSG. Um, skill damage wise, YSG brings a lot more than El Cid because having that 50% extra skill damage, this is going to be very, very interesting. Ooh, you are. So, hey, so, so, um, Constantine only throws out the heal like uh, at the very end. Or you gotta be a certain percentage and like... 50, I think. Yeah, at 50%, he should throw the heal. I don't think we ever found it though <laughs> in the report because there's what, 700 turns? <laughs> <laughs> really, you should test it if you wanna see, just do a 50k troops. And just test it that way. Maybe there's a bug, you never know. But it's gotta be 50% of 50k troops then, right? Yeah. If you wanna just have a shorter battle log. Yeah. What? I'm losing? No! El Cid sucks. I hate El Cid. Oh my oh, god. Tommy? Oh my god. Texan is gonna celebrate. Do you have Tommy? Uh, Gigi. not maxed yet. I thought you had like fucking 4,000 universals just on mute max. No, why would I do that? I need I need to win the uh, MGE. Yeah, and get the free sculptures instead. I agree. I mean, because he's supposed to be he's supposed to be better with Edward, right? Yeah, but I wanted to see you know how Elsa is going to do because Elsa said they changed this last skill to uh, increasing damage to infantry. Dude, oh what? What? Yeah, his expertise has changed from last year. Um, hold on. So, wow, it's crazy. I think we're losing here. Um, Edward and El Cid. It seems like we're not even winning, and um, Texan doesn't even have uh, T5 tech. So, what the hell? Um, this is a 39 million power player defending against me here in the battlefield. Oh, El Cid is bad, RIP. <laughs> GG. Okay. But I think YSG I, would I melt this though. El Cid sucks.
<laughs> you a salty bro or what? <laughs> uh. <laughs> I need I need better archers. What are you talking about? You're already max tech, right? No, I mean I need better archer commanders. They need to roll out more. Uh -oh. See, yesterday it took a lot faster with YSG. This thing's taking forever. Yeah, I'm yeah. just disappointed with El Cid. I hate El Cid. And then, it's trash. Sounds like a only have a Dude, his expertise is only 2%. Is only 2% extra to infantry. That's fucking still shit. So, I'm gonna have and to campaign. You only have the 10% chance to do damage on the second skull. Yeah. He's good against like epic, epic. Uh, oh, there we go. Epic. Ah, there we go. We really need to fix El Cid. Come on, El Cid is too weak. How can this be possible, right? El Cid is too weak, even with Edward. I think El Cid needs to get fixed. Uh, I think El Cid needs to get some extra loving here in Rise of Kingdoms. They did fix this. But I still think we need to increase this increasing damage with infantry. LC needs to be able to counter. Right? This is ridiculous. Um, the battle is taking way longer than having a YSG. Unfortunately, this is kind of annoying to me. Um, I really want to see um, LC succeed. But we're not seeing that. Even with the high skill damage that LC brings, it's still not enough. Sad. His first skill is listed as an active skill, so YSG's full skill will boost that. So instead of 2400 damage from Frederick, you would get 20% on top of that. What about what about Fred? What about Fred Edward? With his ex with expertise, it says all attacks have a hundred percent chance to do additional yeah, damage. Dope. The only thing with that combination is you don't get a raids engine, and Edward's skill requires slow. 1350. Yeah, it's slow. Yeah. But suddenly Edward is going down slower and slower right now. I still think we're gonna win, but I think it's gonna be closer than expected. Yeah. We are healing right now more than we are taking skill damage. We, we oh, are I healing 5,000 and only getting like uh, 3,000 something skill damage. Ooh, yeah. Not just, plus, plus you can't see the heal of the talent tree as well. No, exactly. Oh, so Edward doesn't get any of his health bonus when he's in a structure either, right? Because no. Is, he's also going to be on the map. No, exactly. I'm sorry, I wasn't. So, wow. There we go. We're getting defeated. Um, big loss here for the archers. Definitely can't do El Cid. Uh, I think YSG El Cid may be a better option. But I think Edward... Yeah, not so good. Yeah, I think yeah, El Cid is really needs to get fixed and um, made a little bit stronger. Maybe, maybe just um, you know, wink, wink, fix El Cid. Have some healing on El Cid would be really, really nice. I think really El Cid needs to have some love in him here. <laughs> um, we'll see the battle report. Uh, this thing took a lot longer. Uh, took quite some time to get this March of Mine get defeated as well. Like I said, Texan is not T5 tech, I don't think so. He has 39 million power, and to be defeated like this, Commander matters, right? Commander matters.
This is crazy. Yeah, getting smashed in here. We're almost there. We're almost at the brink of destruction. We got about 40,000 units here. And we're going to be sent back home crying on the corner like a little baby. <laughs> because El Cid did not dominate this battle today. I'm heartbroken, disappointed, but it's kind of slightly already expected that we're not going to win. I was having my hopes up, but unfortunately, my hopes are not met. 6,000, 5,000, 3, 2, 1, and done. Damn. Oh, it's not that far. It's relatively close. That healing really factored in. Maybe if it's a different um, infantry commander, we could have won. Relatively close, honestly. Now, the battle reports show that it seems to be slightly close. When you are looking at the numbers, 100% El Cid lost this battle. If it was YSG as a secondary, it would have been an easy win. So, Edward and El Cid, no bueno. Okay, now we create this video so that we can have a great tool to use for us when we are choosing our commanders. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this content and find this very helpful and I hope that you will be successful in the game. So I will see you again later rockers. Goodbye.